edition of come on now the podcast we were planning on taking the week off we can't do it rudy but we're jumping in because nick wanted to talk about some stuff i may have already talked about it and i'm going to be posting it but we're going to be posting some other stuff to right now it won't be that long it won't be an hour and a half might be like 15 20 minutes but uh Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us. We are climbing the boards, getting closer and closer to 2,000, 2,200 subscribers. Right now, we are sitting at exactly 2,000. This thing is taking this time to reload. 2,186. We need 14 more subs, so get us to 2,200 subscribers by the end of the day. We would love it. So, Nick, what's on your mind? On on the on the latest editions of Nick Rants, I'm taking over, y'all. It's Nick Rants, man. Um, I think these ladies have missed the golden opportunity. Um, and I'm gonna start with start with the with the leader, uh, Caitlin Clark. She had an opportunity, her and Sabrina Ionescu, to grow this game and keep it being popular. As it is right now, people are paying attention. People are loving it. Rudy is ranting on y'all sport every day. Y'all are getting the attention that y'all need. But now we have a chance for a three-point contest of two ladies who can shoot the ball with the best of them. This who the people want to see. See, Sabrina was just at the NBA All-Star Week shooting against Steph Curry, and that was the highlight of the All-Star Week. So when we could compound that in the WNBA with Caitlin Clark, another person that everybody is coming to see this weekend, that weekend, and she decides to decline it, why? Why decline that moment, Rudy? Why? Are you asking me or are you yeah, going to answer your own, answer your own question? Moment? Because this, in this era of, I think, LeBron James era, I hate to blame LeBron James. But I think a lot of people seen what he did for the dunk contest of not doing that. And it has trickled down to this whole generation of not wanting to compete at different moments because I don't know if they're scared to be embarrassed. But there's nothing to be embarrassed of. You lose, you lose. She's already going to be there for All-Star Weekend. So another 10 minutes of your time, to, to, to grow the game to a different level because everybody's going to come to watch it. No matter if she misses or not, she's exciting to see. And then you have Sabrina, who's another electrify, electrifying shooter. They're going to be going back and forth. Nobody cares about who else is in this thing. Who else is in there? Nobody ca- know these people or care about these people. But we care about Caitlin Clark, and we somewhat care about Sabrina because of her shooting abilities. Now, you put these two... Titans together when I'm considering Sabrina a a Titan when it comes to shooting. You get something that will be magnificent, wonderful, entertaining. And I think they blew the moment. I don't know if it's a selfish act or it's a scared act, but why be scared when it's just shooting? This is what you do. It takes 10 minutes of your time. You don't even have to practice this because you because she did the three point contest in college, right? Or whatever. I, I, they, I don't know. If they didn't, who cares? Because the college game, they didn't need them to do it anyway, because millions of fans were coming to watch them in the NCAA tournament. Um the viewership in that was amazing. Now we got another chance to be on par with the NBA or better for this weekend because nobody really cared about the NBA All Star weekend. But we are we we want to see this. We want y'all there. We want the stars. We it's only so much of y'all that we do know. But if Caitlyn comes and Sabrina's there, now we might pay attention to to uh what's the what's her name jo- Jones John Quell Jones John Quell Jones. Um, uh, who's the other people that's in that in that Stephanie Coulson Alicia who's that? Gr- Alicia, she's a center for uh, the exactly. Mystics. Uh, why uh. Uh, Alicia Gray, I have no idea who she plays for. Um, 
Marina Mabry, who just got traded by Chicago to Connecticut, which and was she's a, a, she's a, a, a okay an person, asinine, but this, asinine trade. But nobody and wants then, to see um, her like that. Final, but if she, but it, Kayla, it, Kayla McBride from Minnesota, McBride. But the the people that will be watching will might see these players and might say, "Oh, okay, that person's good too." Just like me with Kennedy Carter right now, who I fell in love with her game because of the whole Caitlin Clark experience and what she did to her. And that made me become a fan because I actually paid attention to her after. And I say, damn, this girl is a pit bull. She can actually play basketball. She's fun to watch. She could get anywhere on the court. But I would have never knew about her if it wasn't for Caitlin Clark. And that grew the game. That grew her fandom. That grew her, her fan base. And that would grew the rest of the game. But by her not doing it, like, that's just, that's just, that's just something I'm I'm not happy about with her, man. Um, everything about her has been great. Her assist totals, her on the court, she's been electrifying. But she could have made this so this she could have made the magnitude of this so much better and complete for the fans of the women's game. And I'm just mad that she didn't do it. And Sabrina, like, why? Why not you? Are are you just too good for this? Are you just ready for the NBA now? You're not going to play in the NBA. This is your league. This is your league, women. You're not part of the NBA. This is your league, the WNBA. And it's growing. People are there. Y'all are getting deals, TV deals. Y'all are y'all are getting money now. It's coming in. More people are by, about to start getting paid. Now, do y'all just want to be satisfied with that? Or do y'all want more? The iron is hot. Strike. Strike. The iron is hot. Take advantage. Please. What are we doing? What are we doing? Y'all got me feeling like Rudy this week. Y'all got me ranting about this shit. And I shouldn't be because y'all two ladies should be in that exhibition of shooting. And y'all should be showing us why we should be continually, why we should continue to support the sport that y'all play. Damn it, ladies. Golden opportunity. And I hate that I had to throw a, a fucking stray at LeBron James because he's not even a part of this. But oh, I think he's a part of this. He's, of people, a, he's, he's a part of this. Because this generation of people follow him because he's a star. He's the, a main attraction in the NBA, and he still hasn't done a dunk contest. I would love LeBron James to do a three-point contest because these are the people that we want to see, the stars. Even if he went out there and made five three-pointers, we would love to see you do it. Like, even Jordan did a three-point contest. He, he wasn't a three-point shooter. He never ran from the moment. He didn't care. He took advantage of the opportunity, and he grew the game. And I think y'all, well, at least the NBA players started getting paid so much. They started getting paid so much that they, they didn't have to do this stuff anymore because they already had us, you know, dialed in and tuned in. But the women, y'all don't have us yet. <laughs> like... We are one foot in and one foot out. And it's not hard for us to put our foot back out after y'all just got our one foot in. Please, keep our foot in. Make us put our other foot in and be all in with y'all. Because y'all have the opportunity to do that. So get y'all ass to the three-point line, which is shorter, and go out there and shoot the damn basketball for us, please. Because y'all can't dunk, so it's not going to be a dunk contest. Maybe y'all all-star game might be a little bit more exciting because y'all actually might compete. But other than that, we love shooting. Shoot the ball. So now you just saw, folks, why Nick needs to invest ten dollars into a stand for his car, as we just got a picture of his. Cr- oh, oh, we just have a picture of his crotch. This um, wasn't planned. Take that out, Rudy. This wasn't planned. No, I can't. You were talking while you did it, so it's a little hard to take out. You were still talking. This wasn't planned. Well, he still needs to invest ten dollars in a stand because I'm that's, not even in my car. That's another thing. I'm not in my car. Whose car are you in? I'm in my I'm in my wife's car. She needs a stand. You would she think she would have a stand. Females have a stand. She doesn't talk on her phone while she drives. But you talk you you put no, it in a stand car. so that you don't actually pick up the phone. You just push the button. <laughs> she doesn't do that. She doesn't even answer the call. So she doesn't talk to you. She doesn't even answer your calls. No, that's the problem. Yeah, you're abused. Okay, we've already established. No, I that. am not abused. This is domestic violence one on one because if it was the other way around, he'd get home and she'd be screaming her ass off at him like every woman does to their man when they don't answer the phone. That is true. In the car, 
That is true. Now, if I call her the second time, she'll answer. But she has no. hands free. She has hands free on her card. It comes. You don't need to wow. see my face. You still have to pick up the phone to see the hands free. No, you, at just, the you just hit. You just hit it on the on the. I, on, I watch on the TV screen. In, I watch TV in the car, so. She just hit no, hit, hit hit it on the screen. You shouldn't do that, Rudy. I, why not? I mean, I'm sitting in South Florida traffic. I mean, I'm sitting, half the time is in a stoplight. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I look, man. I, you asked me a question. I don't even remember what the question was because you didn't actually ask oh, me to an, even let yeah, me answer it. Yeah, I said, so, why? Why wouldn't they do it? Why? Yeah. Why I mean, I, I I did a video on this a little earlier. I haven't even posted it yet, but I am going to post it regardless because I think there's a lot of balls that got dropped here, <laughs> and I think the WNBA dropped the ball um, as an organization. They, you know, how much these girls, you know, how much they get paid to be in this contest? How much? A thousand dollars. Come on now. Thousand dollars, but, but also a thousand dollars. I get that, and the part. winner and and the winner gets twenty five hundred. You know how much yeah. Sabrina got paid to be at the in the men's all star game? A lot. I don't know, but I'm sure fifty uh, times that. Yes, of course, of course, of so, course. So that's, that's a reason, but but they just so signed a two, get... they signed a two point two billion dollar media deal yesterday because of Caitlin Clark. Yep. You have to pay them. The you WNBA to, has to pay these. I don't you, care about the other. I don't care about the other five. No, these two need to be. Needed, in it. You needed to pay them whatever they wanted to do this. If mm -hmm. they wanted a hundred grand, you needed to pay them a hundred grand. And they would recoup that. Three hundred. Get it back. Here's but what's going to happen. You have to invest. You have to put money into something to get money back. We know that. Everybody <laughs> knows that. That's just a life, a life fucking lesson. You know. This is tomorrow. Are you going to watch it? No, why? No. Who? Exactly. Who, who, exactly. Who, who. And that's the thing. You don't want to put the money into it, but then you expect people to watch it, and no one's going to watch it. You have, you, you, you have the iron is hot, as you said. You strike when the iron's hot, and instead of having... And this isn't even about who the best percentage shooters are, because no. obviously they're not number one and two, because... They, Caitlin they, Clark takes the shots from half court. They, they and, both take and, difficult. And, 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 and Caitlin's always guarded by two, three people. So and Sabrina the, takes deep shots too, not as deep as Caitlin, but she has the ability to does that. And because we thought that she was Caitlin Clark before Caitlin, Caitlin Clark, but she can't, couldn't draw like that. She's not Caitlin Clark. Something but, about Caitlin Clark is more enticing to the male perspective in a lot of other people's eyes than. Then Sabrina. yeah, and Sabrina's she, white, and, and I know a lot of people said but we Caitlin, were on, that Caitlin, like got, Clark, Caitlin got all of this recognition because she's white. There's a lot of other white women that play basketball that we don't care for. I don't think that Caitlin Clark could play in the NBA. I know there were people that said stupid crap like that, right? No, that's foolish. But there's one thing that I think Caitlin Clark could translate to the NBA, and she passes the ball as well as anybody. Magnificent, and and, and she and. She can get people. Now, would it serve? Would it? Would it? Would it get there? Because they can get there faster. I don't know, but her ability to pass the ball. I mean, yesterday was a fucking work of art. Yet they Plenty. lost the game. Yet, the, yet, they, yet they lost the game because their coach is atrocious and, and makes such bad decisions. And they the, the first half they are walking the ball up the floor and and all this other crap. But I think the WNBA with this drop the ball. You need to pay them. And the, and do I make excuses for them? No, absolutely not. I'm actually very disappointed in both of them because this is exactly what you said. This is a chance. You're growing your game. You want people to watch this All-Star Weekend? Guess what? You this, might have to do something you don't want to do. You're, to you're, you're not going to – you're not going to – no one's going to watch this tomorrow. No. They're not gonna, they, they won't get 500,000 TVs on for this um, while Caitlin Clark draws $1.6 million to watch a regular – what was yesterday? Today, yesterday was Wednesday, a regular Wednesday night game against the worst That's team in the league. Team. Yeah, it's a terrible team. They probably drew 1.5 million viewers to watch it, um, and, and it's disappointing because this this could have been billed like Dominique versus Jordan in the dunk contest in the 80s. This could have been billed as Ali Frazier and boxing, and this this could have been billed because these two women are largely considered the two best shooters in the WNBA, yes. and. And and so you lose out on that that opportunity to hype it up, you you fail miserably in that regard. And the reason that Ionescu gives is that she's practicing with the fucking Olympic team. That's the reason that she gave. 
The, that, it's, that, to, it's, it's tomorrow. The game is Saturday. They leave the on ball. Sunday what? for Paris. You're just shooting for 15 minutes. Rudy, like, what is she doing for the Olympic team? She's going on the Olympic team to be a shooter. And, and by the way, how bad does this not having Caitlin Clark in the Olympic team look now? It looks stupid. It looks She's it looks, She leads the WNBA. She leads... She leads the WNBA in assists. She's going to run away with it. She's averaging 8.2 assists per game. She's probably going to finish with over nine assists per game um, per, for the season because every game is now double-digit assists. She's going to, She's got, like, I think, nine or ten double-doubles already as a guard, which is the most in history. She accounted for 66 points Chelsea yesterday, Gray. which is a record Chelsea for the Gray WNBA. Chelsea needs to be off the team. I'm oh, sorry. She's I watched Chelsea Gray last week. She's atrocious. She needs uh, to be off the team. She's bad. She's just she's bad. coming back from that injury. She's not. She's not herself. She's bad. She's bad. She needs, yeah. Caitlin is that, the I best mean, guard. Caitlin is the best guard in the league right now. She is. She's, she's the, best, the guard. best guard in the league right she's, now. She's gonna get. She's gonna be. She's gonna finish number two for MVP in the league this year. I don't she'll think finish so. number. She'll, she'll finish number two. She's gonna finish think, behind um, Asia. She's the most uh, important player. She's the most important player for her team in the WNBA. No, just because of her record, she won't. She won't. She won't because of her oh, record. No, she, what do you mean? I didn't say she's going to win. I no, said she she's going to finish second. I, I think, where, will she, uh, where will she finish? The one in Minnesota. What's her name? Nuffy, Nuffy. The one who's not playing? But she'll be, I mean, I'm thinking she's she'll playing. be back. Is she going to hurt? Be, she'll be back after the break. Who just, be, who, just beat, who just beat them? I mean, but she didn't play. Who just beat them? <laughs> but she who didn't play, them? though. They're, but they Minnesota, were down rec seven. Minnesota record will be up there as one of the top teams. So Minnesota, she'll be probably second. Who's third? Oh, maybe Brianna. No way. No Just way. Because of their record. No way. I'm because of their record. Do you know people? They they take that into consideration when it comes to MVP. Well, so, well, well. well the Las Clark Vegas Aces. Be... The Aces just lost to Chicago at home. Yeah, they lost, but their record still. And their be record is the fifth best record in the in the yeah. WNBA right now. Yes, but there's over five hundred. Do you, realize that, do you realize that the winner of the of the MVP literally has the best record or second best record in the league every single year? Yeah, for the most part. No, because they have no creativity in this league. Yeah, there's no creativity. I mean, the NBA is basically like that until you know West, Westbrook, Westbrook, um, Joel um, Joker, and B. They, they weren't the best. Joel and B wasn't the best record in the league. They were second, I believe, last year. Second in what? In the East. Not in the league. But they were the top five, top four. Something. Okay, so now we're extending it. You, you got to. Caitlin Clark's going to finish second in the WNBA. By the, by the time the season is over, the Indiana Fever will be 20 and 20. She'll average nine assists and 19 points a game, along with six rebounds. And yeah. they'll be in the playoffs. And they will be a, five, a six or a seven seed, maybe a six, maybe past Phoenix. And now they're a six. And last year at this point, that, that they were four games worse at this point last year. Yeah. Last year's team finished with 13 wins. If they finished with 20 wins, how, is she, not, how, how is she not in the conversation for – No, she will be in the she's, I'm not saying she's going to win, but there's only one player who I will sit here and say is better than her right now, and that's Asia Wilson. That's the only player. And I will tell you right now, in three years, she won't be. In three years, Caitlin Clark's the best player in this league uh, yeah. because she'll put, she'll put muscle on her body. She'll have gotten used to this physicality that they bring on her, this and she's an absolute. And she won't start off the season averaging five, six assists. She'll no. be averaging double digits, double digit assists it's, for a season. And she and her turnovers will go down a little bit because she'll be stronger and Everything better with the ball. Everything will change. It's, it's Everything not gonna will be, change. It's not going to be less than four. That's just who she is. She's going to turn the ball <laughs> over. Turn it over. They turn it it's, over. But it's, it's going to be um, around four, four point one, three point eight. It might be a little less than four, three point eight. But it won't be worse. It won't be. It won't be better than that. For, did, for the did she make? She made. She 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 made. She's a risk taker. She made pocket passes last night behind her back. Yeah, I mean, she's been doing that all year. I mean, this is but behind her back first, and getting layups off of it. The first time they actually caught it. Or it wasn't like in too much. It was fashion. a couple. She did a so couple last her, night. The only thing that her problem is she picks up her dribble a lot. But I and but the thing she's about that, not doing as she much. still she still ends up getting an assist. I never seen a person pick up her dribble as much as she does and still end up getting a good play out of it. You always tell your point guards keep the dribble alive. But she she picks up her dribble and next thing you know her back is turned and she's still making dime passes to people cutting or under the basket. She she passes the ball better by picking up the dribble. It's the most ridiculous thing i ever seen in the sport of basketball and she's getting away with it 
right now, but I think she'll be able to keep her dribble a little bit better as she gets stronger and a little bit more, you know, practice, you know, time and free time to be able to work on her game. Um, and once you do that, oh, I, my God, it's over. I, I think they're going to – I think if she doesn't end up on the Olympic team for some reason, even though she should because half their team is actually injured right now. Yeah, she'll be which makes it Which makes it so ridiculous. But if she doesn't end up on the Olympic team – And she gets that break. She's, she's going to get a two-and-a-half to three-week break. She's been playing ball since October. <laughs> nonstop. Like, it's been Absolutely. a nonstop. As, as, the, somebody as, needs, as the most important player on the team for and, and Kyle, eight months. In college, she needed to score 30 a night. Yeah. I mean, really, she could be scoring 30 right now if she got she took enough shots. I mean, if you see how many shots Arika Gumbawale gets to take, just blindly she, shooting the ball anytime she wants. She mentioned that. Um, she says sometimes she overpasses and whether she should be shooting. She did, and she overpassed last night. Her overpassing cost them cost them points because she kept kicking out to shit shooters who can't shoot. Um, but overall, with this situation, I think I, I do put some on her, and I put some on, uh, I put it on Ionescu. And the WNBA. Ionescu, Ionescu would have been better off just saying nothing because that excuse is a joke. <laughs> Clark, Clark's, Clark's reason could be, you know, I want, I need to, my legs are dead. Yes. And I, it could be, my, it could be, my legs are dead right now and I need a break, even if it's for a day. Um, I'm going to play in the All Star game and then I'm on vacation for three weeks. But she's going to be it. But, I still don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. I, I don't like it, it at I, all. It pisses yeah. me off because I want to watch that. And yeah. now, Hell, I want to see her in the skills competition. I, She's the most I, skilled player in the league. And I, and I don't need her to practice for the for the shooting contest. No, just show me shoot. Practice, so it's not going to take much time. Just pick the ball up, shoot it, let it fly. You have one of the quickest releases anyway. So you're going to make uh, make it around the little shooting circle in enough time. Yeah, it's it's, it's a disappointment. I, I'm not happy about it at all. I, I wish they'd both be in it. I think the NWMA could have built this as something humongous, and they failed again. Um, the fact that I learned that they only pay these girls a thousand bucks to show up and do this, I can understand why I would tell them to go kick rocks. I'm not doing waste them a thousand bucks. But Fuck sometimes that. you have to. Sometimes Fuck Rudy. That. Sometimes Fuck Rudy. That. Sometimes Rudy. Early on in the process, you have to bite a bullet. Sometimes. Early on, in whose process? Caitlin Clark's making five the, the, million dollars right now. She doesn't need that fucking thousand uh, bucks. Well, well, it's it's in it's still in the name of growing the game. Well, in the name of growing the game, I just got you a two point two billion dollar television oh, and deal. Then, and you should be sucking, you, you should be sucking me off, thanking me for bringing and, the, the viewership. Because if they had had this contract come up last year, it would be the same bullshit that they had before. The, or less. They, they try to pull a fast one by with that giving them a thousand dollars. Like that. That's that a joke. Been, yeah, that's a joke. I, yep. I, and I, but again, yeah, for the spirit of competition and all that stuff. Yes, this sucks. And I blame LeBron James. And you jumped on Anthony Edwards blame, for that. You jumped blame, on Anthony blame, Edwards blame, for that. Yes, I hated it. I hated what he did. I mm -hmm. hated his lack of competitive spirit in the All-Star Skills Challenge. If you're not going to compete, don't be in it. If you're not going to, and, and, and that could be for them, but if you're not going to truly compete, don't show up. I don't want to see you there joking around, doing left-handed bullshit and being terrible. You're no. not taking it seriously. So that, that bothers me as, a, as just a person of who enjoys watching competition. I remember when Dwayne Wade first did it, and he won that thing in the he, skills he, contest. He, he wanted to he, win. He, that, like, a lot of people wanted he, to win back then in that skills they wanted competition. To win. Now, Dwayne Wade never did a dunk contest. I wanted to see him do a dunk contest. Because his in, his in-game dunking was disgusting. But I don't think he's, he, he's not a dunk contest I person. Don't care. I don't care. I, I want to see Dwayne Wade dunk. I want to see the stars be stars. This is the all-star game. game. If you're yep. not an all-star, you, you shouldn't, shouldn't even be, be in these competitions. <laughs> you shouldn't even be there. You shouldn't even be there. I don't want to see your face there. I want to see the best shooters who are there who are playing tomorrow yes. competing in this. I don't yes. want to see Mac McClung James come over from Jones. the G League and, James and, James Jones. and Der James Derek James Jones and Duncan Robinson. I love Duncan Robinson. But I don't not want to see him in this. Man. Not an all-star. You Not have enough star. players there. Clay, Clay, you had stuff. I'm talking about in the prime of time of the year. I don't care if Westbrook was in a three play contest. Like, Everybody. he's an all star, and I'd have been fine with it back then. So, yeah, I, I, I have, I, I don't like the lack of com competitiveness from people anymore. And I think all of it goes back to LeBron's decisions to not ever be in a dunk contest. I think that was disgraceful, shameful, and remains one of the, the worst things. They, I mean, it's probably the worst thing he's ever done or not done. Because we'll never know. We'll yep. never know. 
and he'll he said, never know. But he will put on a dunk contest in, 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 in the in the layup in the warm ups and 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 in summer leagues. But the the time to do it is the All Star event, and and you you probably will win, or even even if you lose, who cares? If you lose, and who cares? I, I think people I think people have to be stop being afraid to lose. Like it's gonna yeah, happen. Who cares? It's, if you lose, like the, you lose. It's like the boxing culture, and they lose one fight. You know, or they don't box the the top people because they're afraid to lose one fight because it damages mm-hmm. their brand or whatnot. But it also damages the integrity of the of the the. the, the oh, sport. so much! Wait, wait, wait! What did you just? What word did you just just use? Damage the integrity of the sport, Rudy. Wow, a man who who talks about damaging integrity of the sport, who has no problem with some certain player getting drafted that that into not a, the league. I don't Which think that's integrity. I think damages they're, the integrity I of think, the sport. I think they're building a roster over there, and you build. It's not always about your talent. Sometimes it's about the fit, and his fit is that his fit is his dad. Wait, wait, and, wait! You, I, I, yeah. Did you say he would be in the G League? Yeah. All right. So how does he fit the roster? But he's going to be up and down. But Again, how does get, he fit the roster? But he's going to get some extra. He's going to get some extra reps. He's going to be in the G League. He's going to get some, the roster to win right now. He's going to get some extra reps in the G League. What 55th pick doesn't get doesn't go to the G League? He's going to be in the, he, like, he, he got, a, guarantee, like he got James, a guaranteed contract. He'll be on like, the roster. Why are we acting like Bronny James is the first overall pick? He's not. He was the 55th pick. Again, guys. you you you, you talk about integrity of a game. He's the 55th integrity, pick. Integrity is integrity. No. You cannot you cannot pick your choices for integrity and when no. you like to use it. No other 55th pick got this amount of, uh, 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 of play no, on ESPN no, ever. No other 55th pick's daddy was LeBron, and no other 55th pick was drafted because his name daddy is 55th, LeBron. Who cares? What does that matter? Name a 55th pick that we cared about before this. I never cared about him. You made me care about Patty him. Patty Mills was we the last. We care about him. Patty I still Mills. don't care about him. Patty Mills. I still don't. What you, you're just saying, who cares? I don't care about him. People who care about basketball don't care about him. But we but have he, to look at this shit because it's in fucking embarrassment. It's not. It is an embarrassment. It's, it's still an embarrassment. The man it's still has... a joke. It's still a joke. You, I sent you that video. I know you didn't watch it because I know I... you don't take five minutes because you have an ADHD issue probably. <laughs> and, and, you, and, and, you, and you need some Adderall no, or something I, like that. I watched the first you did not watch minutes. it. I, and I if watched... you watched it, it's only five minutes long. If You, you can even watch it and fast forward no, at 1.5. I, my, my problem with Bronny, I think he definitely need to be more proactive on defense. He needs to be picking up players 90 feet. That's what your calling card should be as this player at the 55th pick. You should be doing everything possible, all the dirty work, all the little grimy things. You should be picking up the gum off the fucking off the yeah. floor. That's the stuff that you should be doing once you get out there. That's at the 55th pick. That's what you should be doing. He should be guarding everybody. His his calling card should be defense and hitting, and hitting threes or hitting jump shots. And if that's not falling, use your athletic ability. Cut back door and get some dunks. Get some layups. He's highly athletic. You saw that layup he Again, made yesterday. So all these things that you're talking about are he, he basketball be intellect and basketball IQ and basketball being a basketball mind that, and he's showing he's showing it that he doesn't have that mind at this level at, he's 19 he can i don't that can, care he, can he should still that. be he that's should what, still be in college he's a 55th pick you're supposed to be there to he should still the be pick. in college you develop your 55th pick he that's what he's there for he's be 19 in college you keep ignoring the reality if I see it, if I see enough things in him that I like at the 55th pick. Isaiah Wong I, is a better player than him right who? now. He was the 55th pick last year. He's a better talk- player. We're not talking about him. We're talking about Bronny James. His teammate was better than him. He didn't get drafted. This was a this, this was a, a, a disgrace. And you, just, and, and you just bitched about the integrity the of the game. He don't fit the Lakers. Why, well, why, you why, don't why, fucking believe why, in integrity then, why, man. Why, you, you're why, only, you, why did the 29 other teams draft him? He didn't. He, he could have got picked up what by somebody else. What are you talking else. about? Draft him. They didn't draft him because they wouldn't. Because they didn't want him. Exactly. What do you mean they didn't the draft Lakers him. Bronny didn't. Want, the Lakers, the, the Lakers, Lakers didn't want him. The they Lakers didn't him. want him. If they want him. They wouldn't draft him. What are you talking about? The Bronny James? If the Lakers didn't want him, they wouldn't have drafted Bullshit. him. Bullshit. They were fucking coerced. They were extorted to draft him. They were threatened oh, to draft LeBron, him. And whether you and whether Le- you think he was leaving or not, he fucking held it over their head. Le- and if you Le- don't think that, you don't know the basics of negotiation. Everybody, everybody used to negotiations to get what they want. 
But no one else would ever get that bullshit because no one else is LeBron James. Because nobody else is that good. He did too long to be able to do anymore. what he did. They were a seventh seed. Nobody's this good for that long to be able to do that. I don't care about that long. And I'm talking about right now. Horse, Are you paying horse. players for he, fucking what they did 10 years ago? He could horse. You're paying them for what they did 10 years ago. He could horse billionaires. LeBron could horse Bro. billionaires. Could horse? What, what, what are you talking about? He cohorts? He he, he, extort, he extorted billionaires? He extorted them. He extorted, extorted them. He extorted, extorted them. Yes, he, he did. LeBron he did. James extorted. Y'all hear this. LeBron James extorted millions. Do you billions. know what extortion means, Nick? I get what you're saying. What does it mean? It's but a threat. I get what you're saying. You basically saying he held them hostage. He took them for what they... What are you talking about? Well, he extorted them. He did not how. Billionaires? They can do what they want. You know what extortion, but you don't know I, what the most basic form of extortion is. Really? Billionaires get extorted all the time. Do you know how easy it is to extort a billionaire? So, but Le LeBron get did that. In, the, get, dirt in broad the, daylight. get dirt on a billionaire, and you'll have the ability to extort one. Trust. So, what's the Trust. dirt you have on them? What's you know the dirt who you extort? What's well, you know who got extorted as a billionaire? No, 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 no. You know who got extorted as a billionaire? You know who? A lot of people. You just said he started a billionaire. Like it, was, like it was so hard. It's easy. What? You can destroy a billionaire real fast. You know who got started as a billionaire in the NBA? Who that? Donald Sterling. He got extorted. Are you, are you serious? How, why do you think that information came out from that chick? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we, are oh, going okay. To, uh, that part. He wouldn't pay her enough. He wouldn't <laughs> pay her enough. That's why that shit came out. You think that shit comes out if he gives if he gives her what she wants? No, he, they had a whole different relationship. They were in a relationship. Extort, he, she extorted him. She was, she extorted no, his she, ass. She blackmailed the fuck. She com I mean, she committed a she she committed a crime. She damn sure did. She committed blackmail because black extortion is not a extortion is not necess, is not a not necessarily a criminal thing. It it's thought to be. It's not a criminal thing. If I can hold over your head some stuff on you. And I have, you know, and I can hold some stuff over your head or whatever. And I have information or not information, but I have a power leverage over you in a negotiation. And I'm threatening to leave you. And you need me because the Lakers still need him. Oh, okay. the Lakers oh. need him. There's no question about it. there's no one to replace him. If he walks, they got what? They got so shit. So, so he had the upper hand in negotiation. Absolutely. Okay, that's so. So everybody gets extorted. That's extortion. Then. So everybody. That's gets not a extorted. negotiation. That's so not a negotiation because you're using. You're not using. You're not using money as the fucking barometer. Negotiation don't have to be money. There's no money. You, can, you, you no. negotiate for many other NBA things. NBA players don't take pay cuts. Okay. You can negotiate for many other things, Rudy. It, it don't always have to be money in negotiations. But in the NBA, these guys do not take... You want to know right now that fucking Jalen Brunson's getting fucking crucified for what he did? Yeah. But I hate Because the NBA situation. players hate that shit. Yeah. But right? this, this, wasn't a, this wasn't about a cash deal. This is about drafting someone that's not qualified to work in your office on your court who can't yeah. help you. Well, we don't know that. We I know, know that. We, we do know, know that, that, Nick. We've watched six summer league games, and we know that. And I knew that before that. There's I don't a, need the summer there's, league. There's I didn't not, need the summer league. All y'all motherfuckers needed the summer top, league to show you some shit. Top, I didn't need that shit. There's top ten picks in the summer league who don't who, who's not getting the damn pressure. Nick, of, of the James, Nick, who are playing he's work. six he's one. They're seven a, foot he's tall. Under, he's under. You're, 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 you're too smart to be so stupid he's at times, man. You're too smart. You're too smart because you probably now think that Jalen Brown, because he was six of twenty five, wasn't as good as Bronny James. He's dealing with a different type of pressure. He's he's dealing with that here. No, the, that, what's that's the, the real, what's his real what's his real pressure? What do you mean? What's his real what's pressure? What's his real pressure? That everybody's watching him, expecting him to be better than the What's 50 his 50? real pressure? Everybody's expecting him to be better what's than the, the fifty-fifth pick. What's the pressure 50? of a, what's the pressure everybody's of um expecting him, everybody's expecting him to be better than the fifty-fifth pick? What was the pressure for LeBron James in two thousand three? And his dad is the best player ever in history. What that's was the pressure of LeBron James in twenty oh three? That he was the most highly tutored person coming out of high school ever. What was the pressure on him, though? To get the job done, to be somebody, to no. live up the hype. Poverty. Up to, the hype, to live up Poverty. to the hype. Poverty. 
that's his pressure. But it's that's the pressure. That. That's the pr- that's what pressure is. Don't paid. sit here and tell me a but little he boy. Got, he got paid when he came don't sit here and tell me that a little he boy with poverty anymore. Nick, Nick, don't sit here and tell me that a fucking little boy who grew up a multimillionaire who was making five million dollars a year in college Rudy, in this, college already. Rudy, this, no, this. you're not me finished for once in college, and you're gonna compare that to the pressure of these athletes who come up broke and who need this to live. Rudy, you're this, fucking crazy. Rudy, He's got no pressure. Any pressure on him was created by his father because he feels like he has to perform. The fact is, he ain't that fucking good, and he never was that good. And I've watched more basketball of high school teams than you have, and I covered it almost as long as you've been alive. And I've seen player after player after player far better than him who've never gotten an opportunity because their daddy wasn't named LeBron. And you're going to sit here and tell me that you see something in his shot, his 27% shot, that is 10%, that is 10% in six summer league games. You mean the ability, the ability to defend where he has been burnt by G leaguers left and right because he can't guard him. You mean the ability to be a smart player where he stands in the fucking corner or 28 feet to the rim and doesn't cut to the basket when no one's looking at him. They drive and he stands way back. And doesn't even get in the play to cut for a backdoor dunk or easy layup. That that he is not good. He's not good, and he needed to go back to college. And whether you fucking think one way or the other, he needs work, and he will not get that work with the Lakers because he won't play. Although I think he starts the first game to please LeBron. It would Start not the shock first me. Game. It not would not shock. Not, you're just going overboard with it now. And if he does, he's what would you say? And, and if he does, what will you? And if he does, what would you? Nick, why would he? Why would, Nick, 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 should he be on the roster on opening night? I don't know. No, yes or no? Yes I, or no? I don't know. Based on what you've seen know. for five, six. When he gets with the team and when he I don't with, care about the team. It's about competing look, on the floor against another team. How does he look at practice? Does he sit in with them at practice? I don't know if he's going to be on the roster. Maybe he goes you to think, practice you, and you, he plays well. Nick, Maybe he gets Nick, around his you daddy. You play basketball. Maybe he gets around you his daddy. You play basketball. He gets a little bit more coaching. He gets a little bit more coaching. Maybe coaching from a, from a coach who was unqualified for his job, too? No, I said gets around his dad, the leadership of his dad. Oh, so his dad has players. to coach him. Huh? His dad has to coach him. He, he might help out. It's a Hasn't he been coaching him for 19 years? He, he, he definitely has. Oh, okay. Because the same reason y'all say he's smart is because his dad is a smart basketball player. Not because no. he's ever shown you that no, level, I, but because his father is something. So I presume that Larry no, Bird's I, no, son, I, if, does Larry I, Bird I, have a son? Because if Larry Bird has a son, you would think that Larry Bird would be a, a, a junior, would be a, a, a lights out three point shooter, right? Seen, and I one think, of the greatest passers ever, right? I, you would think so. And you would think Magic Johnson's son would be the greatest point guard ever, right? <laughs> what does Magic Johnson's son do? Well, I do it that Magic Johnson's son. I'm asking you a question. He should be just as good as Magic Johnson, right? He could, no he one's could. ever made up. Michael Jordan's son should have been Michael Jordan, right? We're full of shit here. We're, we've we've literally given a criteria of intelligence based on father. No, I based on it, dad. I didn't, I didn't give it based on father. I said I said I seen him play and I like the way he plays and how he looks intelligent playing the, ball, the game of basketball. Where did, you, where did you see him play? I you like the way he played. I saw his high school. I seen a few high school games. Norman High School's Marcus American game. And the oh All-American my god! Game. So standing in the fucking wing waiting for the ball. Norman's Marcus Allen. Held him to four points. Okay. That's good. I don't want to hear about it, dude. Uh, that's, that's cool. He's not good. That's, He's not an NBA. We, He's not we a pro. are going to find We're out. Gonna fucking attack about the fact the that people would. Pick. I don't give a f- You keep talking about what pick it was. He should not that's have been what picked. It is. He's a pick. He shouldn't have been picked. What's the he shouldn't have been picked. The 55th pick in 1995 picks later. Nick. He should not be in the, in the fucking summer league. He nah, should not be say, on an NBA roster. Say, he should not say, be in the NBA at you, all right now. If you say he shouldn't have got, he shouldn't have got the contract that he got. Okay, I could probably. He shouldn't have even. He should not even gotten a fucking. U, he shouldn't have even been a UDFA. My kid's <laughs> crying now. Fuck. It's all good. It's he shouldn't have good. even been a UDFA. It's all good. He shouldn't have been a UDFA. He should hey, not even been an undrafted free agent. We have, He's not good enough. We have He's just, showing it every fucking day right now. He's I, not good enough. He's not even me, remotely close. Yesterday to he showed me differently. He showed me that he was because decent. he had twelve points. 
He, and he, I, I, I like the moves he made. Like I say, I like it the way he elevates. I know you didn't watch the game, so don't. I like the way he elevates on his jump shot. I like the way I like the way he can finish. I like the way, the and, I, and I, I can like elevate on my jump shot when I was I like twenty years old too. Ability. I want him to use his athletic ability mm -hmm. for defensive purposes. He's not, athletic. He's not that athletic. He's not what? that athletic. He's not that athletic. He's not that athletic defensively. He can't guard his position. He can guard his position. Who's his? What's his position? Point guard. Of guarding. Oh, his he's guarding a point guard. His guarding, position, point. his guarding position is point guard. We agree to disagree. So when we he plays, when, 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 when he, so when he's on offense, who's who's guarding him? When he's on offense, who's guarding him? Yeah, it might be point guards. They don't run a so, traditional offense. So, the point so guard, the, over, their point guard over there is six so, nine. So, so LeBron so, is not guarding so, point guards. So what you're telling me is a guy that's way faster than him will guard him. No, I think he can move just as equally or a guy who's or better and, and just as fast as is other Patrick point Beverly guard. faster than him? No. Oh. Oh, so your 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 greatest I think, the, the mid would have averaged twenty five a game I, in nineteen ninety five and eight assists is not better than Bronny James. No, we you said faster. He's not faster than him. You I don't, don't think, think so. I think LeBron. Think so. I think Bronny James is faster than Bear Beverly. I Patrick think Patrick Beverly is a point guard. I think Patrick Beverly is a dog, and he embraced that being a dog and, and want mm -hmm. to of wanting to be a, of wanting to be a defender. He knew that was his niche of being a small guard that you better fucking defend. You just him. told me that you just told me that Bronny's fucking way into the league is playing defense. I say it should be. No, that's what was said to us by every I say fucking. It should be, and it better be. Well, that's be. what was said. No, no, but that's what was said to us by every freaking person who gave an opinion on a kid that never saw play. I, I think they never saw him play. These people, people never saw him play. People, they gave opinions because his name, his father was LeBron, and they watched highlight video. Mm. He was never the best player on any one of his high school teams. Ever. But he, but he goes. He was the he was the ninth best player at goes, USC last year. He goes to stack schools. Come on now. Well, USC. Is oh, I'm USC sorry. USC was USC was USC one of the worst colleges in the country last year, and he was the ninth best that, player on that, that team. And he was. He was oh, oh, here's the excuse. Here's the excuse. Excuse. Before, excuse. Before the before the cardiac the cardiac situation. He was a 12 point per game scorer he in high school. Then. They had they had scouts that were telling that were telling us that he was a liar. They were lying to you. They don't. They were fucking all paid. What are you talking about, man? Uh, you, you really you, believe that shit? There are people. That you really believe that shit? I, I would. I would think that. A then, couple then Nick, you ain't that damn bright, bro. Because if you believe that bullshit, if you believe anything that comes out of ESPN's mouth involving Bronny James, you ain't even paying attention. Just like Man. everybody else ain't even paying attention. Everybody. So where's the paper trail? Show me the paper trail, Rudy. Show you the paper trail. I don't have to show you the paper trail. I can show you how his ranking jumped up forty five spots because he had a forty inch vert. That's what I can show you. And they and they and his and his game in high school. His game in high school. His game yeah. in high school has the fourth best player on his team. Never playing point guard. Yet the size of a point He's, guard. Well, Yet the size of a point guard. You don't have the to, size he, of a point guard. I had so, someone. So, I had so, someone. So, I had so, someone so, give me the excuse yesterday about why he can't shoot in the fucking summer league. The depth what? perception. <laughs> you guys will come up with every fucking excuse for failure. I'm not coming up with excuses for him. I'm not. He has to. He get doesn't better. have NBA skills yet. He could if he actually got a chance to stay and hone them in college, but why, we're never going to see that now because he's never he going to be a real – he will be out of the league after his dad retires. Why can't he – why can't – out of the league. He why can go play with Dwayne Wade's son in Africa somewhere. Why can't he hone them in the NBA? Why can't you develop in the NBA? There have been players because that guys that come Because guys that get developed more in the NBA are guys that already could play. Could mm -hmm. Duncan Robinson shoot when he came into the league? Yes. Yes. Ronnie can't. But he also worked on it he to, be a, to be a he better. Can't. We'll see. He can't. We will see. But he can't. We will see. Duncan Robinson got benched for a year and a half because he couldn't fucking dribble. He couldn't do the one thing that he was supposed to do. He well, he stopped making missing shots because they benched him because he had a bad he had a bad like ten game run in the playoffs and he got hurt. He stopped doing what he was paid to do. He got benched. Yeah. But the guy, well, you just paid a guy. You said he's three and D. So he's never done what he's supposed to do for the check. He's, he's never done. It. He's never done what he's, he's supposed to do. He's never done it because he couldn't we'll, do it in college either. Well, we'll find but you out. You guys we'll... watched the McDonald's game where he's not guarded by anybody, and you said, "Oh, and he's a great he's shooter." Be, he's not going to be guarded by anybody in the NBA. Yeah, yeah they're going to wide open, and he was. Oh, he's been missing the shots because his depth perception is a problem. <laughs> because uh, accordingly, because the arena is too big, 
the depth perception changes his ability to shoot. Ah, uh, I like that. Treating one. treating treating him well, as if he played in nothing but high school gyms his entire life when he was playing in NBA gyms who arenas. That one? I like that one. <laughs> when he was playing in NBA arenas when he was fifteen. I like that one. Depth perception. Yeah, I can, I can see how that. No, that's an, that's an excuse used for high school kids all the time when they go to the state championship because they're playing in a much bigger arena and it actually exists because they've never played in arenas that size. It's, it but is he's little, played. It does feel a little weird, but at the end of the day, it's basketball. But he but he's played and he played a year in college. At the end of the day, it's basketball. Fifteen thousand seat arena. Like I don't want to hear about depth perception. At the end of the day, I wanna, it's basketball. I want to I want to show you that on defense he doesn't know how to help. I want to no. show you on defense that he's. Taking chances is, is and that, getting burnt. Is that not something that could be taught or learned? Or you should develop? know it because if you're selling me a Nick, if you're <laughs> selling me a bowl of goods based on this, and he can't do this, you that's a bait and switch. You know, they're idiots, so it doesn't matter. You're not selling it to me because the Lakers are stupid, and they've they've compromised their entire integrity as a franchise. And they're the laughing stock in the NBA right they, now. They've they always been about family business over there, Lakers. What the fuck are you talking about? You mean the family in which the fucking sister fired the brother? Yeah, still family business. Oh, family business. That, yeah, that, that shows that shows that they actually care because she fired the brother for not. Yeah, and, si and, si and since she's been the owner, they've been run like absolute horse garbage. And they still got a championship out of it. They got a championship in a bubble that none of us actually respect, and you know Whoa, that. whoa, whoa, whoa. No none way of that. us respect I, that shit. I respect that championship more Of course, because you're a LeBron fan now. No, no. Because hell you no. goddamn well, you, you God know. Damn well know. Don't what worry, nobody about? respects if, that if championship. If won that championship, you're going to say you don't respect it? It wouldn't have been It wouldn't have been the same as a real championship. Yes, no, the hell it not. would. I did, no, it wouldn't it have. Harder of having it was not it. harder. Yes. You had bitch-ass teams like the Clippers who quit playing basketball. Yes, that. Exactly, they gave up. Get out of they here, man! Get out of here! They couldn't deal Get with it. Out they gave up without home, Rudy, what, oh, home, court, family, home court advantage. Being around your family, that shit matters, Rudy. Fuck your fa being, fuck the family. Being in one spot, being in one being spot. You're on your family. Being, You're on the road half the time. Like what are you talking spot, about? Being in one spot, right, bro. Go anywhere else, Rudy. That shit matters. Oh no matter God! How to most people, it. most people not named Nick Taylor think that that was the easiest championship. No, there no, was. no, no, no. A lot of people think that. No, was no, one no, of the no, no, no. You want to know why it's easier? There's people no travel play. involved. What? Rudy, yes. Yeah, so oh, people. travel doesn't matter anymore. But you got What you got to travel doesn't take, matter anymore. You, you still got to take into account the other travel the other doesn't factors, matter anymore. The other factors that were heightened. What? Is, what are the other factors were heightened? What are the, what are the factors? That, that Sleeping fact, in a fucking king-size bed at Disney? That factor, that factor was less, but the rest of the factors were heightened. Not what what, what was family, it about it? comfortable. Not being around your family. Comfortable. Not being, being in one spot. What are you, what are you talking about? Being on, on, on... LeBron James turns off social media in the playoffs every year that to erase media. distractions. What if, this actually, for most, LeBron James, most, most was the people, greatest blessing of his career. Most people actually like, like their family, like being around them. So even though they turned off, blessing turned of off his from the, career. Rest of, the rest of the world, I don't mean he turned off his family. Nick, they spent half the fucking time on the road. Why are you oh. acting like they... You, you act like these dudes are... You act like these dudes are parenting they, children and Rudy, shit. Rudy, they still go back to their family. They're not gone the whole time. They go they're to gone, sleep and they, they fucking go, go back week, to work. Man, you week tripping. At most, maybe two weeks you at tripping. most, and then they're back home for another week. Or two weeks. You're tripping. Hey, you are tripping. We agree to disagree, man. The, the, the most the, 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 the most difficult part of the playoffs is the nonstop travel. And, and it's the, the people, nonstop travel. And, and what it does were, to your body and how it wears you out. If you can walk were, back from the fucking arena and walk to a bed and be in that same place for, yes, was it a difficult situation if you're so, oh, my God, I need to be around my fucking wife for three <laughs> months? Where most people would say, thank you, God. But but some people thank you like, God. I'm gonna listen to this shit like for three wife, months. Rudy. What? Or their family? Some people actually like their wife and their family. Some people. NBA players. Some people. You mean the fucking biggest fornicators on the planet? Some people. Some people. The biggest cheaters on the planet? Some people actually do. Please, I man. Think, you, if, you if you don't think if you don't think, the, think if you don't think those dudes in the bu bubble were getting tail left and right, walked in, not named the guy from Houston. Please. Not You're left tripping. and right. Not left and right. But it, it was some if you, if you think there were guys not getting fucking ass when they were in the fucking bubble from Isn't people that were not their wives, 
I but got that, sand that, to sell you in Miami Beach, bro. That's a different story. We're not talking about that. Some people do Again, that. Again, you talk about family, and dude. They, 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 they were wife. there to play basketball, bro. Some most people, people, most most people that I see don't fucking have the respect for that ring the way uh, the way the way you seem to do. I do. You I think, think it was I, harder. I think it was harder. You think the Miami Heat are in the finals without that fucking bubble? They could have been. Fuck no. Rudy, the Heat was the second best team in the East for most of the, the that season. Or the, the Heat first was the five seed. seed. The Heat was the five seed. They finished that way because the heroes the Heat was, was a the year that got hurt that year. The Heat, was a five, the Heat was a five seed. They were the most of the year. They, 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 did, not drop, they Rudy, did not drop from a two seed to a five seed in Rudy, the fucking most in the of that bubble. Year, they were first and second seed. They were a five seed, Nick. Oh, look at it, Rudy. They were the a five seed. They were, they were a and five seed, seed, Nick. Rudy, most of that year, they were. And they end up being the five seed because they went in that bubble and they finished the same record with the Pacers, who they were over the most of the season. Come on, Rudy. Don't do that. They were a five seed, Nick. It's all good. It's all good. I so they were a four seed. Were they a two seed? Most of that season, Rudy. Go look it up. Really? And then who got hurt that year? Does it was matter? It, was it Hero? Hero got hurt. He was playing well as a Hero rookie. got hurt in the playoffs. No, somebody else got hurt. Some people got somebody hurt. Somebody else got hurt now. Hero got hurt. We, in the, no, no, Hero we, played the playoffs. Hero was our best player in the playoffs yeah, for half the no, time. No, before the playoffs, before going into the bubble, like before March, February. You don't even we, remember something that you're making up. As you March know. and February. Go look it up. March and February. I'm not looking up. You're the one that's telling me it happened. I'm telling you what happened. Somebody got hurt. A couple people Somebody got hurt. Got hurt. And then we fell. And we, and the we Miami fell Heat finished 12 games out of first place. The number one seed was the Milwaukee Bucks at 56 we, and 17. We were the Heat were 44 and 29. We the were, two seed had 53 wins. The three seed had 48 go, wins. Go look it up in January and see where we was. What are you talking? Go look up in January and see where we were? Yes. What are you all talking right. about? I got to do all this research for you? No, you I'm never prepared? I'm going to look it up, but I'm going to look it up after this. After this, we'll talk about it. You're then. not. Yeah. No, I, you're not because I, 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 I got to do it for I, you as I always. I love to prove you being wrong. Prove me being wrong. Yeah. You they were a five seed. That's the fact. And you oh. think that they would have been in the finals playing road games at Milwaukee? They were just in the finals last year as an eight seed. So why they couldn't do it then? What? So now, so, oh, okay, you're showing massive heat bias, and I'm a heat fan. They we didn't think last year they could do it, and they did it. And then no, you I didn't think it. And I didn't think it. And I didn't think it. And I didn't think it. You came into this year playoffs. You and thought we, we, were healthy. we got swept in the first we got you thought, five. If you, if you thought if we were healthy, that only team that could beat us was Boston. Let's see here. And since you, you, think, you, you, and since you, you said this. That. We were 27 and 10 January 8th. Thank you. Exactly. We were, and, and by January 27th, we were 20, 32 and 14. Thank you. We were, well, we're and we're probably the so from January, and then January twenty seventh to I, March, I, to I March eleventh, we went from, uh, let's see, thirty two and fourteen to forty one and twenty four. I know, I, I know what I'm talking about. Again, I, it's I, a, it's a seed. So, so the Lakers were a, a a top seed until LeBron got hurt one year. Yeah, but I'm just telling you what it was. You telling me that we were, you're making it seem like we weren't a good team that year. That we didn't have a chance. A good team. I didn't say. See, I didn't say that. I said we were a five seed, and I said you we said, wouldn't. Have, we, you, I said we wouldn't have gone to the finals if we had played a regular playoff. We, we, in the bubble. we literally. Why did Miami? Did why did Miami the, have the ability to do what they did for a couple of reasons? One of them being that they're a tough-minded group. Jimmy Butler came into his own. Jim, was Jimmy not there? Group. Huh? What? Was Jimmy not there? Still that that year. He was there. I said we're a okay, tough-minded so, group, and Jimmy Butler came into his so, own. So they could have did it that year too. That's what I'm saying. That's Again, all. Again, when you're talking about playing road games to playing home games, did he play? Heck, heck, Nick. People say that the Heat got there because Giannis got hurt. Yeah. So it, let's it let's might, also people say that Miami got to the finals because Tatum got hurt. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Okay. I don't agree with it, but that's okay. what people say. Okay. And there are many people that believe that the fucking bubble is the most fucked and bullshitted fucking yeah, championship you know, in you know, history. You know the most and it is what that, it is. You know and many people, people believe that. You know the most people that feel that way are people that don't like LeBron. Okay, that's your any, opinion. That's your opinion. Because anybody that championship, they'll be getting massive fucking credit for that shit, man. Nah, you no, know that's that. your opinion. And we know that, Rudy. If anybody else Nick. won that championship, they would have got massive credit for that. Just because LeBron won that what championship. Would you, what would you, what would you say? What, what would you say is the difference for heat to for people that love LeBron to hate LeBron on a scale of a hundred? What's the biggest difference? The, his attitude. What is the what is the split? Uh, I say 50-50. You think 40, it's 50-50? 60-40. I think it's a for lot LeBron? 
That yeah, for LeBron. For LeBron. Yeah. LeBron fans are the loudest bunch of bitch ass motherfuckers I've ever seen. And they will speak on LeBron all fucking day and yeah. make you hear it forever and ever. He could take a, a, a piss or, on their face and they would say that he's giving them Coca-Cola. Like Jordan fans are the same. I hated Jordan as a kid. So we could talk about that all day. I hated all Jordan right. when he played. But I'm I just saying, Jordan hated fans him. are the same. Hated him. The Jordan fans are the same. Yeah, you're you're in the minority for that. No, I, I, there were plenty of people that hated Jordan back then. Plenty, his, plenty hated him. This is probably 70, hated 30, 75, 20. Again, again, again. So with all those fans, I should see a lot more people say what you said, but I don't see that. And I see that on constantly. I, I see a lot of people. I see that. a lot more. I see a lot more. I see Ron a lot sexuals of, who don't think that that's a real championship. I, I see a lot I of see people those that think it's the greatest championship ever. I see a lot of people who played basketball who who feels that way that that was a tough one, just because of of uh, and then people games were elevating probably because of not traveling, that people were going for 40, 50 points and they were so they again were, so again you saw all those points being scored by guys who otherwise have not done that since so that's because so, they weren't tired. So and and people that didn't so they have home, tired and people didn't have home court advantage. So again, think, so what you're saying to me is that home court. So traveling is hard. Yes, it traveling is. Traveling makes it harder. But I but I also think that there were other factors that made it hard. No that, one that, ever discounted the Lakers' talent. You know that. I I think there was other factors that made that that. But no one ever hard. discounted the, the Lakers' talent. Yeah, because they was the first seed for most of that year anyway. But no one ever just no one's no, no one's ever discounted the Lakers' talent even in the last five years. Mm. Talent. Yeah. It's only an excuse made every year when they fail that they don't have the right pieces that were picked by one guy. Yeah, everybody makes that excuse, but the Lakers make that excuse more than anybody in the league. They do all the time. Yeah. Yes. And so LeBron, if they're the ones that always LeBron, make that excuse. LeBron, they make that excuse for LeBron every year he doesn't win. Yes. Exactly. So yeah. again, if they're always making those excuses for him when he picks these teams that everyone every year is saying, oh, they're a top four seed, three seed, two seed. They'll be in the conference finals. They'll be in the final. Like, no, just because they have talent doesn't mean that they're going to make that talent go somewhere because we already know what's going to happen when they struggle. It'll be mm -hmm. blaming somebody. It'll and it won't be the person that you need to blame. It'll be blaming everybody. It'll be blaming Russ. It'll be blaming D'Lo. It'll be blaming Darvin Ham. It'll be blaming Luke Walton. It'll be blaming Frank Vogel. Uh, no, it'll be blaming you, no, you, the bus you stop, name it. It'll be someone the, else's fault. The, the 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 bus stops at at LeBron and AD. At the end you of know, the day, it, it hasn't stopped yet at them because no, they've never been the one to take no, the blame no, no, for, the, but don't, for losing. Don't, don't get it twisted. Them other mother lovers should get blamed too because if I kick, kick it down to you you're wide open and then all of a sudden you were a great shooter before and now you cannot shoot because he missed if he misses he misses why is that a you people just, miss you just damn people got on, miss you just got on Indiana fever for missing threes and now now if you miss yeah. you miss you just I got can, on I can, I can get on them but still I can get on and you want to know what, what did I also what did I also <laughs> say what did I also say? That they make some they make some shots sometimes that No, what did I no, what did I also say? I said that Caitlin Clark needs to not pass it to him. Yeah. <laughs> I said Caitlin Clark needs to not kick it out for a three when she has a fucking layup. And no, Caitlin Clark did that five different times in that game where she had open layups and kicked it out for threes. And if she mm. takes her fucking layups, they win the game. I'm not yeah. blaming her for losing, but if she takes her open layups, some shit that Jimmy Butler does all the time, kicking it out for threes when he's at a wide open layup, they win the game. LeBron James kicks out for three way too often. Yep. This new version of basketball is not good. It makes people turn retarded to a, into a detard. I mean, hey. I, 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 it, 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 make, it turns them stupid because mm -hmm. I have a layup and I see you all the fucking way out there and I'm going to pass it to you out there even though I'm by myself right here. No, it happens I just way lost two points and you missed a shot. It happens too often, but the three has just became such a big part of the game today. Yeah, well, that's what happens. And, I, I mean, and, and, and I, it won't I change still... until it won't change until we move that three point line back. It's about time because these players are shooting it too easily. It should be moved back to about twenty eight feet. So and we can see really shoot then. But you know, the, the game don't... always evolves and always changes. So I, I I I figured I'd be one of the changes that'll come up soon or eventually. But, hey, but uh, back but back to your integrity. There is no integrity in basketball anymore. It's been destroyed. There's no integrity left in this shit. None. No, none. Don't tell me you want to win. Don't tell me your goal is a championship, and you draft someone that has no chance in hell of helping you win. So this year. if they, if they if if none. they miraculously win a championship this year, what would you say then? I'm wrong. Okay, but I'm they not, won't. I'm not rooting for but that. They're not. Shit, 
I'm not really. Oh yeah, you are. You bought a hat and you bought a, you bought a hat and a jersey I too. I did so. that to antagonize you. You, you know, bought, you, bought you bought Bronny's jersey also. No, I, I don't buy. I don't buy. That'll anybody. be that jersey will be in people's trash cans by by January. I don't buy anybody's jerseys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You buy no one's. You bought Willie Beeman's jersey. You probably that bought was, Al Bundy's jersey. That, I did. That's that was. That's not like a current player. That's more of a style thing. That wasn't like to support a player. What style? Where are you wearing that Polk High jersey to? So wherever I go out to, get the fuck out of here. Where you wearing a Willie Beeman Miami Sharks jersey to? Those are <laughs> classic people in movies. And I know you had a fucking Allen Iverson jersey at some point. There's no way you're telling me that you didn't have an yeah, Allen Iverson. Yeah, that's jersey. when I was when I was in damn seventh grade. That shit still fits you. You're the same size. I don't even know where that's at anymore, Rudy. This that was in your mom's in your mama's closet, man. She 20, saved that shit for you. Twenty four years ago. You should have <laughs> saved it because it probably will be worth money now. Uh, you know that was that was during the throwback era, throwback era of jerseys and uh, and they was doing like different, I don't know, different like styles of jersey, like the retro shit. That, yeah, that's what that was. That was a different time. We all went through it, but uh, that's what. Damn, Rudy, we turned this into a show. Yeah, it's into an hour. Yeah, turn this into an we, hour because we're not even supposed to be doing a show this week, Rudy. Yeah, it's your Stop. fault. I got work to do. So, all, right, all right, we'll wrap. That's it up. all we, folks. That's all we got. We argued for about thirty fucking minutes after Caitlin Clark. Um, we are Bear very with. sad that she's not competing in this thing. We wish she would. We wish Sabrina would. None of us will watch tomorrow because we just don't fucking care. And we'll I'll watch the All Star. I'll watch the All Star game on Saturday if it's in the daytime. I don't even know what time it's at, honestly, because oh, my my wife's birthday is this weekend. So, I if anything, I may watch. I'll it be on out of town. Tour. I'm going to DC. That's why I'm kind of in the car now. I've been driving around and. But we had to get this done it's, so we can get some rest. It's at eight thirty. I doubt I'll, I may I may catch it on my phone. I'm also trying to watch the Jake the Jake Paul Mike Perry fight um, okay. on Saturday. But okay, you know I I, I expect the WNBA All Stars to beat Team USA. That would be something. Gonna, I think they're going to beat them just like they beat them last time. They did this. I think they're going to beat them. Caitlin Clark's going to be giving people assists left and right. Um, I hope she doesn't play forty minutes. Damn. I'll- I, I wish I wish I wish Kennedy Carter was with Caitlin and Reese and on that team. That would be. That'd yeah, they be, traded Chicago traded their fucking best shooter. For, they don't for need two, to shoot for, the ball. They all they're gonna do is rebound the ball anyway and, and go back up with it. That's what they're they built to do. But do you understand that you. when you when you trade your best shooter and you have no shooters left down well, there, people will just sag into re- paint and do more your rebounds, shoot. More rebounds, more double doubles, more rebounds to get, more misses, a whole, more rebounds they, to get. They, they, they traded two first round picks. More rebounds to get. Yeah, no, listen. They traded two first round picks and a pick swap to get her a year ago, mm. and now, and then they traded Kalia Cooper to Phoenix and got like not a whole lot, mm. Com- not comparable to what they traded Mabry traded to get Mabry for. Yeah, and now they're trading Mabry for. Two players that average a combined six points and a pick for next year. They're tanking. They're tanking for Paige, and they're in the playoffs to get a. They're not going to get Paige. <laughs> they're no, they're not that they bad. A, they don't have a pick. Oh, they have oh. they have Connecticut's pick now. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, it's, yeah. it's the second best team in the league. Yeah, they don't yeah. have a pick. They traded the pick to get her. Don't they got Phoenix pick? Or that's somebody else. Phoenix is the number six seed. Yeah, I, no, they're no, not going to yeah, end up yeah. with the one, the number one pick and draft Page. Mm. Yes, that's what Chicago Sky fans are posting on Facebook. Yeah, we're going to get Page. No, you're not. No, you're not getting Page. You're not getting Page. Are you going to lose the rest of your games and finish nine and thirty-one? Kennedy Carter like, too good. Like stop! They, they, they're tanking the weird shit, man. I don't all get right, it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But that's all we got this week, folks. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Come on now. Come on now.